Well, my business is Rossberg Livestock. Rossberg Livestock's original to me. It's not that this part of Rossberg Trucking goes back into the old days, but uh, my grandfather, Rossberg, my dad's dad, he uh, bought his first truck in 1936. And then my grandfather on my mom's side, my grandfather Keating, he, uh, I can't remember the date for sure, but uh, he, he bought a truck to take the family to move to South Dakota and uh, they had a real bad blizzard that year and, and he and my grandmother said you're taking my kids to that godforsaken place over my dead body so that began keating trucking and then he bought a sheller and, he, and he'd shell corn and when my uncle got out after korea he took over the trucking side and uh, that's basically the truck line that i grew up around if you'd asked anybody in this town when i was a small kid you probably could go back to the age of three what will ty be when he grows up Nobody had told you I was going to be a soldier at any point. They just said he's going to be a truck driver because I love them trucks. Ty spent nearly a decade in active military service with the Army. This training helped him later in life when he came back to start what's now Rossberg Livestock. Then when I come home from the service, I, started, I came back to work with my uncle and uh, I wanted to do more in the livestock line and he did a lot of grain. So I just broke off and did my own thing after a while. And then I had a partner for a while in B-Bar R Livestock. Les and I had a business together and, and uh, we, we did a really good job together. And then just, you know, as, as most businesses go, when you start to get to a certain point, your interest will change to some degree. But uh, then I went back to this, which is what I called myself originally with Rossberg Livestock. And then so I went back to Rossberg Livestock again. And, and uh, was gonna just be me when I left. You know, Les and I had a lot of trucks and we hauled uh, for Murphy Family Farms and for other people at the time where we'd take hogs out to California. So I had trucks on each coast. So our phone rang 24 hours a day. So when I first broke back on my own, I said, that's it, one truck. I took two trailers. I had one for hauling cattle and one for hauling pigs. And uh, that was all I wanted to do. Well, one thing led to another and uh, got a little push off the top of the hill and it's been rolling and growing ever since. And now I, I used to try to just keep up with it. I'm no longer keeping up with it, so I got my son in here helping me now. For those of you that know Ty, you may have noticed his lively or even ornery personality, which did in fact start at a very young age. They would park down here right by where you see in the city hall there. And I'd sit down there on a Sunday when they would be sit, all sitting down there. I'd sit in them trucks all day pretending I was driving. One day I had one and I got it out of gear and it rolled down across the railroad tracks. So that was the first time I ever started a truck and I might have been nine or ten. I wasn't very big. And I thought my uncle's going to kill me. And I, the train, you know, back then it came through here. I think it was the Milwaukee or something that it came down through here. And I thought I got to rip and get it off the tracks. So I did, I started it and it was an old two stick transmission. Took me a little bit to figure out how to get that done, but I had to think about watching my uncle and what he did and I got her up off them tracks. I never told anybody till now about that, so shh. 